Hi, I'm Paul Frottis. I'm a fashion photographer from San Francisco. I'm coming out here to New York to experience New York Fashion Week for the very first time, the Spring Summer Collection 2013. So after a couple of years of shooting, mostly uh, swimsuit stuff, glamour type photography, um, I really started gaining this interest in fashion, you know, continuing to study a lot of work from Testino. Um, I really became uh, very, I really liked all the textures and colors and everything of fashion um, and the way some designers would layer stuff. It looked really beautiful. So I wanted to um, learn more about fashion. and. I learned about New York Fashion Week where a bunch of designers get together uh, twice a year um, at Lincoln Center, which is the new spot for, for all of fashion. So I was trying to figure out how I can get myself involved in this. You know, I wanted to experience myself. So I um, found this company, Fashion Stock, that's been doing Fashion, fashion Week for over 20 years and they gave me the opportunity to come out to New York to experience Fashion Week for the very first time. So getting your credentials for Fashion Week was not easy. After I supplied my work, um, some history behind what I do and all that stuff, it took some time to get my credentials, um, almost all the way up to the last minute. You know, A week before, I st still didn't know I was coming. So about just a couple days before that, I got an email saying I got my credentials. So I was a happy man. So coming to Fashion Week was a completely new experience for me. I mean, back at home when I'm shooting fashion, I'm the main photographer. You know, I pretty much say what goes. Completely new experience at Fashion Week. I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into, but once I got here, I was completely overwhelmed. I was given a schedule, which has tons of shows on here. Um, I'm highlighted in red, so all my shows are in red. I shot about 42 shows here at Fashion Week and let me tell you, it was not easy. It was 10 to 12 hour days, barely any sleep. Um, I had, my feet were hurting, walking everywhere, taxi cab rides, not knowing where I was going, um, using my iPhone, my iPhone's running out of batteries. I, so it was, it, it's, it's very crazy, a very crazy experience. Um, I learned a lot though, not only you know what it takes to get the best shot, um, I learned how other teams work with each other. Um, some fashion shows were harder to get into than others, very small platforms, um, some designers very elite. Uh, so there was a lot of stuff going on during Fashion Week that I had to learn and pick up you know, as soon as I got here. Um, there were some very frustrating moments where it took me two hours to get to a show standing in the hot sun for over an hour just to realize that I could not get into the show. So there were times where I just wanted to throw my stuff down and say forget it, but I stuck in there um, and just pushed through all eight days of Fashion Week and I got some great footage. So also what I learned is that you really need to have thick skin coming to Fashion Week. I mean you're working with teams of photographers that have been doing this for years and they are not the easiest people to get to get along with. Um, we have teams coming from all over the world and these guys are responsible for getting the best shot possible here at Fashion Week and I quickly realized that. Um, it's very critical which I learned very early on in the game that even inches could make a difference between getting the shot. Um, Arriving to the platforms, everything is taped off. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to stand. You know, I don't want to get kicked out. So, it, it, you know, it all comes together and you, you have to kind of learn to see where it is that you can go, where you can't go. You know, try to make friends with whoever you can. You know, they can give you great hints and great advice. Um, you know, so I would get to the platforms. I would see where I can go, try to find my best shot. Inches count. Um, and you know that's just the name of the game is just getting there you know it's almost like a race you know everybody's racing to get to the next show everybody's trying to get in everybody's trying to get their spot to get the best possible shot so I wanted to see what I could offer here at Fashion Week and shooting the runway you know you take your spot um, and you're shooting pretty much straight down the runway here's where a lot of technical skills come into play you know your shutter speeds your apertures 
you know, knowing the lighting. Some venues are, are differently lit than others. Um, so that's one aspect of shooting a fashion week. Another part is going backstage, and that's where all the excitement's going on. That's where all the models are getting their makeup done, their hair done. They're putting on their clothes, seeing how they fit. So there's a lot of stuff going on backstage, and that's just an awesome place to be where you can bring out your cre creativity, and that's what I was doing backstage, you know. I was grabbing these models, putting them in different areas, seeing what looks good, you know, making it all exciting, you know, because these editors, they want to see this kind of stuff, you know. So backstage really gets, lets you be very creative, um, you know, lets you design stuff, you know, whatever's back there backstage, bring those models out, make them look really good. So that's just another piece of the puzzle for Fashion Week. So not only do you have the runway, but backstage you can come alive too. So some advice to photographers that are wanting to come out and shoot Fashion Week. Um, I would start off, you know, in your hometown, I'm sure somewhere in there, there's fashion shows going on. Go out there, you know, give it a try, shoot whatever you can. Um, you have to learn the gear that you're using, learn the techniques for fashion, for shooting fashion. Um, some of the gear that we use, that I used, 70 to 200 lens, Canon. Um, I did put a, put a, a uh, an extender on it because some of these runways are really long. These venues are huge. So I had an extender. I could have probably used another 100 millimeter, maybe the 300 lens. Next time I might go a little bit longer. Um, I'm shooting with a 5D Mark II. Um, one of the advantages to shooting with uh, another camera, say the 70, is you have a crop sensor in the camera, so it gives you a bit, a bit more range in that camera. Also, you want a monopod uh, to shoot fashion shows because these lenses are heavy. And after you hold a lens like this for a few minutes, you know, you're gonna start getting some shake in your hand. So a lot of the guys are using monopods um, just to support your lens during that time. As far as uh, sitting down, marking your spots, you can bring tape. Um, I'm using this Pelican case that it's sturdy, will not break on you, has roller wheels, get you from one place to another. Uh, you can mark your spot with it, you can sit down on it, you can stand on it, so it's very sturdy and it works really well. I learned very quickly for Fashion Week also that a team is very important um, when you're out working in Fashion Week. Um, my team was great during all Fashion Week. I got a lot of information from them, you know, Fashion Week was completely new to me, but the night that I got here, they sat me down and for over two hours we discussed everything that I need to know about working Fashion Week. Um, the support that they gave, um, writing out schedules, you know, days and days before, hours and hours, just trying to coordinate where I need to be, you know, at a certain spot during the day. Um, we call him Papa. His name is Anton for Fashion Stock. He's got tons of years experience shooting fashion shows. So a lot of the information that was give, given to me was very valuable um, and I'll take it everywhere I go with me. So teams are really important, um, supporting each other, finding spots for each other, you know, it's, it's very critical. So um, I advise that you, uh, you know, reach out to people that are already shooting Fashion Week and see how you can help them, you know, and if you're, if you're lucky and your work is good, you know, then I think that they'd be willing to help you out and, you know, go out there and, and push hard um, because it is hard work. But in the end, you're going to get great results and, you know, you're going to have a lot of fun. So the important thing is to have fun. You know, it's a lot of work, but it's only eight, ten days of shooting. But after that, the experience is like nothing other and your shots are going to be amazing. So shooting the fashion shows is only half the battle. Now when we come back home, we've got tons of files that we need to do something with. So hours, endless nights are spent just loading those files onto hard drives, backing up those files for redundancy, and getting those packages together so we can send out to the editors. You know, they want to see all these packages put together, you know, nicely done, post-processed, only the best stuff sent out to them. Um, so it's very important. You know, the post-production is only half the battle for Fashion Week. Um, so yeah, I love New York Fashion Week. It was awesome. I can't wait to do other fashion shows. Uh, we've got LA coming up pretty soon. Um, once again, I'm from San Francisco, so the LA ones, you know, it's just down the street from me, literally. 
Um, looking forward to doing other international shows. So this is just the beginning, and I can't wait to do more.